Hey guys, Panda back with you. Welcome back to the Road Tour. And we are in Fisher's Rest. A little region area here. So we're gonna check this out here. We got this road going up here. We got this like bridge going this way. We're gonna be going this direction. But not until we check this place out. Yeah, look at this. Kind of a nice little uh setup they have going on here we have a door this door acts a little bit funky bird houses kind of a nice little uh place here i wonder exactly what's going on garden chair and you have the uh, tree stump for your uh wood table got some butterflies over here it's actually a nice little peaceful area from the looks of it and a little uh, garden gazebo let's see what this actually is it's like a plan of pattern 10 swing let's see what we got here just a casual, laid-back type of place. I would take it, you know, more like a romantic type of setting, right? Candlelit dinner for two. You got your little uh, porch swing right here. It is actually simple, but, you know, in its own way, it's really nice too bad they couldn't uh you know whatever they were doing with their land here they couldn't get it terraformed of course you know maybe they don't own the land i don't know or like some areas of land you know the actual second life land only goes down so far this doesn't even look like grass though it looks more like a uh I don't know. Kind of like a golf green. Some, Honestly, you know, I think I would have left the natural environment and just like worked on some like other clumps of grass sporadically. I think that would have had a better effect than maybe like found like some like little cobblestones to make like a walkway coming out here to this door and then something to this door this door does not work by the way i don't know what the deal is there so let's come up here and check out on the side and see what's going on it's kind of a nice little setting though god i dig the butterflies look at that imagine being like on a mushroom trip the butterflies would be like talking to you Oh, wait, I didn't notice that. Wait, let's take a look at that. I like this lamp thing they have hanging here. Obviously, I'm assuming that's, yeah, it's going to be part of the uh, structure. What is this gazebo? It's like all one assembly, right? Yeah, see, I'm not getting that. Oh, there we go. Gazebo. Land impact of 11. What if the lamp actually goes with it? I don't think the lamp goes with it. Nope, the lamp does not go with it. That's something they stuck in there on their own. Here, let's see if we can. Check out this lamp. Okay, yeah, that's a separate thing. Lamp impact to four, hanging lamp, wood. Okay. Yeah, you guys could like search for that, uh, the marketplace. If you wanted to doesn't appear to have any uh, workable interaction you know to turn it on or off unless it's like maybe uh, up inside you know where they have the cable up here but generally you'd have something you'd see it on the uh, hovering thing with your uh, mouse pointer so yeah I don't know
I like the lights. What do these lights buy anyway? Oh wait, it's all one assembly. Or are they linked it together? Light. <coughs> Excuse me. It's kind of nice. I would honestly, I think the lights look better if they're like a little bit taller, right? Yeah, definitely. I want them to be a little bit taller. They probably didn't have much opportunity. Well, no. Oh, wait. What the hell? Lights appear as if they go with the uh, unit itself, right? No, actually. Here, let's see. No, it's just the unit there. This, this doesn't actually go with the unit. Well, that's strange. It's like all one assembly. Oh, wait, no. See this? Check this out. Yeah. That's all one setup there. That's strange. Anyway. I'm at 24, Garden. Okay, my guess is the gazebo, you know how you buy uh, certain things and they come with different uh, you know, pieces that go with them that you can choose to use or not use. This is what we're seeing right here, which is pretty cool. You know, you can have a little bit of opportunity for certain things. Nice little uh, casual seat. You can sit back. Nothing adult. It's, oh, tea. I wonder what kind of tea I'm drinking. Oh, I'm pouring it down my chest. Oh, horrible. Okay, but yeah, that's kind of what's happening there. So, yeah, nice little area. Yeah. You know? Not a bad little place. It's kind of misleading, though. Um, it's like you have a driveway right here that they obviously made. Well, I guess, you know, you can park a car or like a small, like, say, little scooter. But you'd want something opened up here. It wouldn't make any sense to have someone have to climb a rock wall to get in. I mean, aesthetically, yeah, you know, they're creating the uh, scenario it's a driveway but it's really not a driveway at all in my opinion so you have a bus stop right there oh we got some mushrooms on the land 20 percent grade look at that we got something over here oh we got more mushrooms these must be linden mushrooms so kind of nice though oh i like that I like how they have the little uh lamps here on the side yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. And what do we have here? Questmeister. I can't read anything else. Well, questmeister.com. Yeah. Be wary of going to websites. They advertise on here. Next thing you know, they give you a link. You click on the link and all your personal information, your computer, everything is hacked, hijacked. Yeah, your financial information, so... Be careful what you guys are doing there, all right? Anyways, hope you guys are keeping safe and healthy and, uh, you know, don't jump the gun on those vaccines. You know, I, I've been saying this and the Johnson & Johnson one, hey, I've been proven right on that, you know. Give these sayings time out down the road. You know, everything was done way too fast. Granted out of necessity, I get that. But you know what? There's a lot of crap that uh, we're not being allowed to see. That, And I've, I've been watching it. Stuff will hit the media and then suddenly it disappears. Like within 10 minutes or an hour. Stuff that, you know, is very vital. You know, it's your freaking life. It's your health. It's your safety. This rush to make everyone have a false sense of security. You can run around with no mask and do this and that like you're immune. You know what? You're not fucking immune. Sorry, but you're not immune. Other people are not immune. You know, the fact is 66 to 90% effectiveness, and that's just only initially, okay? Get real, guys. 100 million people, and there's going to be a guaranteed huge number of millions of people 
they're still going to get the crap and spread it to other people and the variants and everything else. Yeah, enough of my rant. I just worry about it. You know, I worry about your guys' health. I sure as hell ain't getting no goddamn vaccine until at least six months from now or, well, more like from this March when they started administering everything out. That gives the proper uh, sample size. But the problem is, once again, we're sheep. We're being fed what they want to feed us. So be careful. Be really careful. Even if you get the vaccine and you come out good, think of it as a secondary mask you have in your pocket, okay? It's not a free freaking ticket to run around with no mask and to stop doing all the shit because things are not going to get better at the rate this is going. And the way people are acting, it's just ridiculous. I know life goes on, but, you know, people with the attitude life goes on, that's why we are seeing an increase in numbers, even with the vaccine. That's a fact. Any one of you can check this on the news. So, hope you guys are doing good. See you on the next episode of The Road Tour. Peace out.